We're beefing up our scheduled reporting capabilities by allowing you to schedule reports against any number of customers simultaneously. The first big change is that you can now implicitly target which customers and contacts will receive reports on an individual basis. We've added this new Receive Report Emails checkbox to the main customer record, as well as contact records. This means that you no longer have to remember who at a specific customer you want to target for emailed reports. You can simply target the entire customer as a single entity and all applicable contacts will be emailed. If no contacts are flagged for receiving emailed reports, they'll simply be skipped. So the easiest way to schedule a report is by going into your Reports module and clicking this Scheduled Reports button here, where you can then create a new one. The first half of the UI here is largely the same as it was before, except that you can now set the report date range on the fly, and you'll notice that you no longer set your recipients here. We've greatly expanded your ability to target multiple customers with a single report. You can add as many customers as you like in conjunction with adding as many customer save searches as you like. This list will be deduped and every single contact flagged for receiving report emails will receive their own copy of this report specific to their company. In the section directly below that, you can add any number of your own internal staff who will receive their own copies of each report as well. If you select a report which doesn't allow for a customer selection, like the ticket time by technician report, we consider this to be an internal report and only allow for internal recipients. You may have noticed that you can also schedule reports that you've saved as a favorite. The settings from your favorite reports statically apply here, meaning the report date range and recipients cannot be altered on this UI. Any changes you make to the report favorite itself, however, will be reflected in any saved scheduled reports automatically. Now the method I just demonstrated will use the default selections for any standard report. If you want to get more granular, you can set up any report in any way you see fit. So for example, if you are scheduling an asset audit report, you might want to use a specific asset type filter, or maybe even customize and reorder the columns a bit. Once you've done that, pressing the Schedule button from the report itself will retain all of these settings, ensuring your customers are getting exactly the information you want them to. So that's our new update for mass scheduling reports, available starting today.